Okay, hi. So I'm going to go over the different features in this swap uh, photo editor. So it has uh, many different things. So we'll start by clicking on any image. And you see this one has a little watermark right here. So we'll go for just trying to remove that one. Um, so the software does a lot of different things. Uh, sometimes it can remove them, sometimes it can't. Uh, it tries its best. It tries to calculate the background color to blend it in properly. Um, it it uh, it'll try to find other similar images. Anyway, so you see on this one, it was able to remove it. Um, the the idea is that you should be able to do it in bulk. So that's why you can select multiple and remove them all at the same time. So I can undo it by the way. So there's an undo button right here above every image. So if you don't refresh the page and you just take a look and if it's done properly, you don't have to use it. But if you don't, um, you don't like the result, you can click undo. So it brings it back to how it was. So you can do two at the same time. So if you click two and then you click remove watermark, you can go ahead and do both of those. Takes uh, sometimes it takes a few minutes or a few seconds. Sometimes it's faster than other times. There you go. So they both got removed, um, and you have two undo buttons. Um, so then there's some more complicated ones. So you can also try to do it on, let's say, these three. You can try to remove this one, this one, this one. They're all different. Um, so let's go ahead and try to. Remove those. Let's see what happens here. So that one went away perfectly. I'm going to try to find, see this one also took it out. And this one took it out. So all those three also worked. So um, perfect. Now there's some more complicated ones where it doesn't work. So you'll see some places like maybe you try to do this one and you try to remove the watermark here and uh, I think this one's going to return a uh, big box you see so now we have a big box so now we have a problem because that doesn't look good so you just have to click undo and at this point you can use the editor so you would click on use editor and this is a really small image this is not something that should be in your store really but the idea here is that you want to add a layer on top of this one. So if you look at the size, it's about, I don't know, 90 in width. So you would select 90. And in height, it's probably about the same thing, with like a square. So you basically have this block, so it's white right now, so you can't see it, but I'm going to click on the image. So if you click anywhere on the image, you can change the color of the box. So maybe make it dark so it helps you see where it is. Um, and you would put no padding because you want it to be right up against the side of the image. So you'd have no padding on the top and bottom. Boom, but now it's covering there on the height. So let's reduce the height a little bit by, let's say, let's go down to 60. So it's still hitting it a little bit. Let's go with 50. Now, oh, it didn't cover it there. So there's a bit of a problem right there. Um, so in this situation, there's this ellipse tool. Maybe that'll work. So you can do a higher ellipse, and you can do it at 80. And you kind of have it right there. And if you just make it white, then you blend it. But there's this little bit that's left. So you know you can swap it, and then you can go back and fix it again. So you can always click on it again and uh, edit it again. It's a bit inconvenient. You have to do it twice, but you know, at least it gets done. Um, and then you change your width, and there you go. So this would cover it perfectly. You, see? you don't see anything left, and you can swap it again. So you can do a double swap. And you know you might want to do that once in a while. So that's using the editor. And you can use the editor on multiple pieces. So let's say you have, um, you know, these three have the same watermark in the same place. So let's say the remove watermark button didn't work for these because I don't know, it didn't find it or whatever. You can use the editor on all three at the same time. You can see the different versions by just clicking on these arrows. 
Then the box is right here, so we'll click again somewhere on it and we'll bring the box up so you can see it. And uh, we'll change the width to uh, 100. Then we'll make it white. And we'll make it the same color as the background, actually. It doesn't matter. It might be white. So then we'll just swap the selected photos, which is all three of them. It'll do the same layer on all three of the photos. You see one's gone, uh, two is gone, and now it's going to be that last one, three. So all three now are gone, and you did that in one shot. You could do that with five, ten, fifteen images. You might want to be careful not to do it too many. Maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe 20, 30, 40 was okay, but maybe there's problems sometimes after that. Still working on some bugs, but for now it works really well. So the same thing, you do the same exact thing with these three, for example. Um, but let's try doing something a bit more complicated. So let's try to remove the watermark in something like, um, like this. So what's really cool about this app is that you can remove the watermark on a non-solid color as well, and it'll try its best to do a good job. Um, so let's see what happens. Um, boom. So the way that actually worked was that it found a similar image and replaced it. So you can see the new image uh, has a really funny file name, but it's basically what you want. You know, it doesn't have the watermark, and that works uh, for a lot of images. And let's say for an image that it doesn't work, so let's say this one, I know for a fact that it doesn't work, I'll try to remove the watermark like this. And if you just do it on one image that doesn't, that doesn't work, it will give you something that's really cool. It'll give you a selection of different images that you can replace it with. So you can then find the image that you want out of this list over here. So this one looks pretty good. And then you can just click on that and then that'll swap that. So it's a slightly different image. Um, and then you can do the same thing across a lot of interesting, this one has two watermarks on it. Let's see if we can find an image to replace this one. And yep, so it found this image right here you can use to replace this one with. And this one has no watermarks. Give you some other images that you could use. You can see the sizes here. Some of them are really small, so you got to be careful. Some of them are not square, so it depends on what you want. But you can make them square after, but that just adds a fill, right? So um, you can also crop them and whatnot. So then, um, let's say something. So that basically you can remove watermarks from kind of complicated images. Now there's some images you can't remove watermarks, um, and that's just you know. It just, it just can't. Some images will try to replace them, and it would have been better to use the editor. So you have to just use the different techniques and the different situations. Um, so then there's other things we can do, like removing backgrounds. So this one's kind of cool, is that you take an image, let's say, uh, right here, and it's a complicated background because it has a gradient to it. So it's not easy, but you can see I was able to do it here more or less, and I can do it even better. But see, I'll go with removing the background. Step one, use the Remove Background button to remove the background. Let's see what happens. So then you see it left this, right? So it's not great. But then if you go into the editor, and so you see that there's, um, if you click on it, you see that there's actually a watermark here. So we'll take care of that one at the same time. So we'll say uh, the width is actually 240. So you can use the ruler, right? So 240 by 160. Then make that white. Then that's gone. So now what's left is basically removing this part. So to do that, you click on the remove color. And you would click on the color. And then right afterwards, click on the image and choose the color. And that'll select the color for this box. It'll, instead of when you're selecting the color before, it was changing this add layer color, but if you click on the color first and then select from the image, it'll choose that color and then it'll remove it. Now you'll see that there's still like little lines left, but we'll get that in the next swap. So we'll swap that and now you're left with an image that's almost perfect that has just a little bit left and then we'll do an editor on it again. And, um, and what's cool is we'll just get that little click on that little line, oh, that, that 
change this background color, you see? So we we'll basically turn off the layer. So now if that's off and you actually click on the background, it'll, it knows that you want to target this one. So it basically went pure white. You have, you know, very few issues, maybe a little bit here, but whatever. This would be possible. And you can change the threshold to lower medium to kind of get more color, less color, like, but you can, you can play with that to kind of tweak it a bit, but in this case, medium works really well. So you would just swap that. And what's interesting is you can actually do that across several photos that are the same. So if you had multiple different photos that have the same type of gradient, you can do the multiple editor um, to get them all at the same time. Um, it's, you know, that should save you some time. So you could also, uh, let's see, there's also a crop. Um, oh, that's a bit scandalous. That's a bit of a scandalous photo here. But this will show you that um, basically you could crop this photo by turning on the crop, turn off the remove color, you turn on the crop, you can crop its center. Uh, that's the size to remove. So we want to move on uh, 300. So you can do something like remove 290, but I'll, I'll cut off her head. So you can start cropping a bit like this, but that leaves you with some, some black over here. But let's say you crop it there, and then you could crop it again and again. So you could keep cropping out the sides to make it exactly what you want. So you could swap it and crop only the left side by choosing the left crop button. So it'll only crop out the left, you see, or only crop out the right. So, um, yeah, so you can also try search web instead and see if something else kind of comes up. It's pretty smart. Yeah, you see, so even doing the search web instead gets you the crop version. Huh. So you don't even need to bother. So you could just do that. But that had an issue. You actually didn't allow me to replace it. Now this can happen because the file names are really sweet, weird. So you see the search web button, that basically brings you back to where um, I was just at, and I want this photo here, but it's not letting me. I can try a different one. I remember we're trying to click on. Try this one. That one worked. So the other idea would have been to drag the photo to your desktop. So if you search web and then there's an issue, like replacing it. If there's ever you're using this and you can't replace it, um, because you can just take it and of course drag it to your desktop and then upload it manually with the uh, replace button. So there's an upload replace button here so you can replace any photo. Um, you can also uh, you can also resize photos, you can use links, you can use a link, you can scrape a web page. Uh, if you just provide a link of uh, Shopify store, it'll try to find all the images inside of that page and you can swap this image with it. You can also center photos. So if they're, um, if they're off center, you can fix that. Let's see if I have any that are off center. Uh, let's see right now. I can make one off center and I can show you if you use the editor, Let's say you crop the left by a little bit less. So now it's off center. See? So then you can click on it and then click center photo. And it'll do its best to center it. So that didn't work super well. <laughs> Usually it works better than that. But so I'll just undo that. And another trick of trying to get it properly centered is, let's say you can you can crop it to center, but you can square it first. So there's just these tricks. If you just understand a little bit about the tricks, and then you try to center it, I think it should center properly. Um, so if you just understand a little bit about the tricks and play around, and you have the undo buttons, yeah, centering it. Horizontal, vertically, but not horizontally. So to fix that, you 
you basically have to crop it on the right side and then square it again and then you can have a centered image. Um, that would be the way to fix that one. But the center should work pretty good on some other images. Center. It should slightly center it to the left. Center it made it smaller. Interesting. So you can see that there's little things that you know you kind of have to deal with and if you don't like it you know obviously you just click undo so it's no big deal um, you can do things in bulk you can try to uh, you know you can remove the watermarks I showed you the backgrounds you can change the background color if you want you can use the editor you can you know Get, turn off the crop because that's what's cropping it. So you got to remember to turn these things off, the things that you want. So you can basically remove the background color here, and now it's pure white. And then what you'd want to do is uh, remove this logo. So you could do it that way. You could also crop out logos. If there's another issue, you go to the top, and you crop from the top. So now I just remove the logo with a crop. Now, of course, it changed the the image and you might not like that but um, this could work and then you can swap it so with the crop you can also remove logos oh you can also change the background color by choosing the set dimensions and then with the fill and then you can choose the background color that you want um, this one doesn't work super well but you would have to uh, play around with it with these, these thresholds so you have to just kind of play around. You do a swap, then you can flip, uh, go back, change the threshold. If you really want to get it perfect, um, I'm turn this back off. Um, and you still have access to the undos, but if you change the page, the undos go away. So you can change your pages. You can choose the pages from here as well. So if you have a lot of, of photos, uh, you know, click um, on the pages maybe to skip. Also, you know that it's all alphabetical. So you see product by the product name. So S, I'm on S right now, T, uh, T. So you could skip to a certain letter. So if you understand, if you have 100 pages, you want to do something with the product M, you could just go maybe to the middle. You can also choose your filters, which allows you to search for specific products. So if you just want to pick a product that's on, um, you know, all your shirts, you could do that. Uh, you could also uh, choose by product type. You could show more products per page if you want to see more. You can show the smallest images first. So I hope that uh, explains you the app. Um, you know, good luck if you need any help, just message uh, live chat.